Welcome back. Transitioning from in-person classes to online mid-semester has been a massive change for not only students, but educators. News 9's Victoria Saha caught up with a professor and a high school teacher to find out how they're doing. Whether you're rushing through campus or the halls of your high school to make it to your next class, you know there will always be a teacher and a room full of students eager to learn. But now, those classrooms sit empty. Students bring so much of their own personal feelings and experiences and ideas uh, and beliefs into the class. Um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way uh, to mimic that uh, online in Zoom and in email. For UWSP professor of religion, it's been a hard transition going from in-person class discussions to just the sounds of the keyboard. I mean, there's a lot of details. I think it's, there's a lot of information. Uh, the, my syllabus was not created. Uh, to account for this online class, so I've had to rethink some of the activities I do, some of the lessons. Um, there were group activities, and there are ways to do those things in Zoom, but I think there's a technical curve that is going to slow us down and take a while for everyone to get used to. And for some high school teachers, it hasn't been too much of an adjustment. Um, I have always kind of housed a lot of my content online. So I feel like this has just forced me into making more videos. And it's been a positive move for some students. A lot of my more resilient or resistant students have been more willing to video chat and talk to me. Um, I think they actually miss school. Although educators don't know how long this will be the new norm, they're just making the most of what they have. For News 9, I'm Victoria Saha. As for final exams, both educators say they'll transition to essay form. And Amber says she's been more flexible on deadlines to accommodate her students. 